Hey, this is Kim from Put A Cup In It, and I wanted to do a quick video review of the Marula Cup. And this is one that I've only tried. Uh, my partner in crime, Amanda, from Put A Cup In It hasn't tried it. But let's just talk about the features of the Marula Cup. <laughs> Huge pros, in theory, for this cup. Very comfortable stem, um, nice firmness. Um, it is high capacity short cup all of those sound great on paper um, it just did not work for me the marula cup is definitely unique everyone who sees it is really in awe of the design they think it looks really cool and of course it is very tempting for people because it is very low it looks very very short if we compare it to a size one lunette even um, the size one with the stem removed it is way shorter this is they said 39 millimeters long without any of the uh, ladder stem and for the second down uh, or the first down about 50. if you have a low cervix this looks like a very appealing cut because the capacity is 38 milliliters which is big by any cup standard a lot of these bullet shaped cups diva cups lunette cups their size two um which are their usually their longer cups are about 30 milliliters the highest capacity cups on the market tend to go to about um 40 to 41 ish milliliters so 38 is really good and if you have a low cervix this could be a lifesaver for you it is very bulbous um it's very firm and part of that is due to the shape but also it is just a firm amount of material silicone medical grade silicone but when you push this body um it has a lot of of bounce um, some cups within the body have less firmness than the rim and of course we have this really really cool ladder stem looks neat and practically speaking um, I, I would find this comfortable and in theory and in practice, it's one of the more comfortable stems to keep um, if you're going to have to keep a stem or if you want to keep a stem. And if you want something that um, is short but that you can still reach, having the ability to keep all of the stem if you have a higher cervix is nice. But it does not have any suction holes which can affect removal, um, can make it a little more difficult and um, certain folds for a cup of this shape are not going to work as well as others. This is the C fold. This is the punch down fold. Now, onto my personal experience using this cup. It did not go well. Uh, I wish I could say it did. I was actually looking forward to trying this cup. It, it reminds me of the Femi Cycle, um, but you know, Femi Cycle is, is also round and has similar stem. It just, um, it was too firm for me and if you've seen my other reviews or videos you'll know that firmer cups do um, make me pee slower so even the lunette which is one of my favorite cups it's not my goldilocks but it's one of my favorite cups and i use a lot especially um for the early days of my cycle it um that gives me a little pressure to where i just pee slower but i don't feel pressure this really makes itself known for me I could feel its presence no matter how I manipulated the cup. I tried moving it higher, I tried moving it and wearing it lower um, internally. And because I did trend down to just having one of the little ladder stems, I tried it first with the whole stem because I wanted to get that experience and I wanted to also try it lower. So I did end up trimming the stem. Uh, the first night I tried it, I was in Germany. I was sleeping on a mattress on the floor in uh, Hamburg at a friend's house. And they only have one little bathroom for the whole apartment and i felt so bad because i had kept getting up and going to the bathroom to readjust and i just felt like i had to pee constantly and i'm sure my husband loved it as well because i was like crawling over him he was sleeping on the other side crawling over him going to the bathroom and at one point i was like okay this isn't working i'm going to have to just take it out and put in my regular cup because i cannot sleep when i feel like i have to pee and that's just in general in life i can't Go to sleep if i feel the urge to urinate so i will go to bed and lay there and if i can't fall asleep i'll get up and pee no matter how much i have to pee just so that i don't have that in my mind like oh i have to pee so <laughs> that's, this is not a great cup for me for many reasons um and i tried it again the next cycle really wanting it to work um i tried it really as high as i could get it i mean like really you know working around my cervix i tried low 
just to see if that would affect how, um, how it felt. And it really just, no matter what I did, I felt pressure, some worse than others. Of course, moving the position can help. Um, but it always made itself known, and when there was bladder pressure, it was a lot of bladder, bladder pressure. And the second time that I tried it, um, I actually got fed up, and I went to remove the cup because I just couldn't get over the idea that I had to pee. I really did have that urge to urinate, like it's pressing inside on my bladder. And I took it out, and just floodgates of urine came out. So in this case, in this particular day, it was actually blocking urine. I had just peed before. Um, and that's not good to have a cup that's blocking urination because that's just, for a host of reasons, not a good idea. Um, now, that being said, all vaginas and all bodies are different. If you have a different anatomy, I mean, I'm hearing a lot of great reviews about the Marula. Um, I'm also hearing a lot of people just having trouble getting it to open, which I also experienced. It's a bulbous cup and it is firm. So I was definitely thinking I wasn't gonna have any problem with it opening because once you fold it in your hand, it really wants to pop open. Um, but it it's just because of the size, like it does tend to stay closed. So if you're squeamish um, and you don't like poking and fiddling and digitally inserting a finger to try to manipulate cups open, um, keep that in mind. It was something I did have to do and try different folds until I got one that worked for me and everybody is different. So um, while the punch down did seem to work a little better than the C fold for me, that could be different for you. And also trying different positions. We do have some um, fit tips with some ideas if you're having trouble with any cup opening, this cup or others. No matter what I tried, I could not get this cup to work for me. And I know that there are cups that are not gonna work for people, period. This is just that cup for me. Um, uh, so, and if you do have a low cervix, if you do try this cup, please try to leave this one ring stem on if you can. There are no grip rings, there is nothing here to grab, and you have to break the seal when you remove a cup. So you need to try to move this cup down to where you can poke it and squish it and break the seal because it has no suction holes. If you start just pulling, or if you don't have a way to grab and you just start pulling, it's going to be... Um, either uncomfortable or painful or very difficult for you to remove and you're going to hate it. So having something is a good idea. There's also the potential, because it's so round, if you um, remove all the stems that it could shift. So if it did work for you or if it didn't work for you, um, I'd love to have your comments because I'm only one vagina, <laughs> only one test vagina. And I'm sure this cup has worked for other people and I really do hate shitting on cups, like because I know that there are people who this will work for and it will work great for. That's it, this is a long review. Um, we, if you're looking for short cups and this is not necessarily the one for you, um, always look on our comparison chart, put a cup in it.com slash chart. We have a metric version and a standard US version for measurements and length and um, capacity, all of that, so you can sort the chart and find the shortest. Look for more reviews. If you would like, make sure you subscribe so you get those notifications and give the video a like just because that helps us out. And again, leave your comments. Would really appreciate your feedback on this cup or just what you think and maybe some ideas of what we should review next. Thanks for watching.